ready for the show? You listen, you ready to get this going? Look, I got some new stuff, man. You know this is your number one spot when the new stuff comes out. Welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I am your host, Antoine. Stick these new link buds S into my ear holes and turn the volume up, Richardson. <laughs> Look, man, I'm really excited because Sony finally did it right when it comes to earbuds. Now, these are not the XM4s, even though they are pretty comparable to them. I mean, they have, you know, some downgraded specs and stuff like that, and they don't get all the glory, but they do sit a couple of notches above the C500s, which came out earlier this year. Now, Sony, when I say they finally did it right, I feel like, man, this, okay, so the, the original Link Buds was the open ear listening, and they changed the name to Link Buds, which was something that I wish Sony would have done with, I don't know, five years ago worth of earbuds and headphones, right? So first of all, they got the name right. They got a name instead of a model number, which nobody can hardly ever remember. But second of all, and probably the most important, they are super comfortable. Why? The biggest reason is because of the sheer size of these things, man. Look at them, they are tiny. Well, they're not tiny, but they're definitely small enough to fit inside of your ear canal and ear well without you know, putting a bunch of pressure on your cartilage right there, causing a lot of discomfort, which was what I was experiencing from day one of using the XM4s. The Link Buds and, Link, the Link Buds and C500s are actually very, very comfortable earbuds. So it seems like Sony has listened to a lot of our gripes when it comes to all day wear or wearing them for more than 10 minutes without being in sheer pain. So with those two things added to these earbuds right here, these, these are winners in my book. Now, I know you wanna get into the, you know, not necessarily technical stuff, but the other stuff like the app and stuff like that. Well, let's get into it. Going into the app, you can see that there's nothing here that we're not already familiar with. So on the home page, you got your adaptive sound control, which basically means Sony is going to take care of all your ambient sound needs for you. Uh, you go over to the uh, sound page, you have your EQ, speak to chat and stuff like that. All the same stuff you've seen in all of my other videos regarding the Sony headphones and uh, their earbuds. But you do get some extra stuff here when you go into customization of your earbuds or the touchpad. So you get ambient sound control, yeah, ambient sound control and quick access. What I mean by quick access, they've added something to these that the other earbuds will not have. I don't think they're gonna add this to the other earbuds coming out. So I'll go back into this and uh, I'll go into services because that's a new page that is on the XM5 uh, headphones and the X, I'm sorry, the uh, the Link Buds S here. This is a new category, a new page for them. So you get this uh, Spotify tap quick access, which is gonna basically, you just tap and Spotify, uh, Spotify starts playing or your favorite playlist or uh, podcast or something like that. Then there's Indel, which is kind of like a soundscape app that you have to have a subscription for. So we're not gonna go into that, but that is what that extra feature is for when you go into customizing your uh, your touch pads uh, when we go into system here. So I'll show you that one more time. It says uh, ambient sound control and quick access. I don't want to mess with this because I've already got it set up to the way I actually like it. So I'm going to hit done and then we'll come back to talking about these earbuds. Tell you what, man. I'm telling you, Sony did it right. Now these drivers are much, I mean, significantly smaller than what you have in the XM4, so you're not gonna get the exact same sound quality. These do not provide as rich of a sound as the XM4s. In fact, uh, when it comes to bass, ugh, you'll, you'll get more bass with XM4s, but that doesn't mean these lack bass. They, they have a great rich sound. But where I think the XM4 shine over these is the separation of the highs and the brightness of the highs. These don't have that, but they sound great overall. Now that leads me to a big question. Did Sony deliver what they promised in shrinking down the XM4 earbud right here and leaving us with the Link Buds S earbud and promising to give us what I would probably call the best overall earbud out there as far as all day wear comfort and functionality? I don't know, man. That's really going to be up for you to decide once you actually check them out for yourself. I mean, they're giving you Sony level ANC. It's not as powerful as what you get with the XM4 when you add the comply tips. I mean, that's some solid ANC for earbuds, but you do get Sony grade ANC, which is, in my opinion, the best on the market. You get ambient sound, which allows you with that comfort, which allows you to wear them pretty much all the time. And then you can hear your environment 
although you do get a little bit of more of a hiss while you're using the ambient sound feature on there. I don't know why that's you know the case with these, but you do get a little bit of hiss. You do get all those extra features and they, they're promoting all day usage, man. So that means you're gonna be wanna you know, like take phone calls with these things. So this is just gonna be a brief sample of what the other person on the end of your phone call is gonna be hearing as they're talking to you. Uh, what I do like about these is that while you're on a phone call, you can activate noise cancellation or the ambient sound feature, or you can just turn it off. Uh, me, I'm always uh, wanting the ambient sound because it just sounds more uh, conversational, like you're actually on your handset, because uh, I don't like having my ears plugged up while I'm on. It just sounds like I'm talking to someone underwater when I have both earbuds in. Uh, you can use these as a, like with single bud, but remember, when you have certain features enabled, you're only going to be able to use the right bud. So remember, when, you, when you're switching back and forth to all these great features that they give you, uh, you're not going to be able to use your left bud and unless you disable some of them, like the Google Assistant and stuff like that. Now we get to the part where that dude is always asking the question. Before you interrupt me, fella, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, but do they jam though? Oh, 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 oh. Man, I told you, Sony finally did it. They finally did it. They finally produced an earbud that I'm really happy about. The XM4s, I mean, they're great quality. Uh, until you compare them to other stuff like the Sennheisers and stuff like that, these are gonna sit lower on the totem pole as far as like sound quality and stuff like that, but great all around like everyday usage features. I love them, love them a lot for those reasons. But these right here, these are great everyday everybody earbuds, man. You can you can wear these a long time without being, without having your ears hurting. Great phone calls, fantastic sound, decent range, you know what I'm saying? These are not audiophile earbuds, but they do uh, have that high range has audio going on in there, you know, using LDAC and the, the DSSE extreme and stuff. So, you know, you can get on the high end of that stuff like that, but man, it's a great overall earbud. And I'm really excited that I finally get to make a video where I don't have to go off on Sony for their shenanigans. Like Sony, you did a good job, man. Hey, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is these Link Buds S, this is where it's at, man. This is where it's at. As far as the price, I ain't gonna never like paying $200 for no earbuds, but I'm just saying, if you gotta do it, and if you wanna do it, this is not a bad way to go. Hey, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Hey, woo, hey, woo.